a very good day and uh, thanks for participating in today's CME wherein we will be discussing a little bit of the bare basics of antibiotics, infection and sepsis together which probably constitutes at least 50 to 60 percent of our workload in any let's say a typical multidisciplinary intensive care unit. Okay, not just that, also because you know a lot has happened in the last 10 to 20 years, one or two decades in the field of sepsis in terms of enhanced awareness, improved understanding of pathophysiology, improved understanding of why we have been doing certain things, why we shouldn't be doing certain things and so on. Though I need to admit that nothing really earth shattering has happened in the field of uh, sepsis pharmacotherapy. There are reasons to it, I can tell you why. Nevertheless, the way we treat patients with sepsis has definitely changed towards fostering better outcomes. Okay. Before we move on, we need to understand, it is very, very imperative to understand that sepsis is not one single disease entity, it is a complex pathobiology. Okay. How a host responds to an infectious insult is what constitutes sepsis. So the original concept of SIRS plus infection is equal to sepsis is no longer there. SIRS is rather, let me say, an expected or an anticipated or a physiological response to an infection. Okay. Whereas it's only when that SIRS becomes lethal, it's only when that SIRS becomes toxic, when that SIRS becomes uh, non-homeostatic, does it lead on to sepsis. So we have a complex interplay of all these systems, what you see on the screen, pro and anti-inflammatory systems, pro and anticoagulatory systems, the hormonal systems, the metabolic systems, all of these. No wonder there is no single magic bullet for sepsis because there is no single therapeutic uh, target, okay? And uh, it was probably only in 1991 that formally sepsis got its first set of definitions. Well, yes, there were a lot of limitations. There was a lot of hue and cry and it took about a decade or so for the definitions to get refined. And in 2001, we had the surviving sepsis campaign guidelines come up, a big bunch of recommendations, a big bunch of guidelines. And then to make those a little easier to follow, the bundle concept came up. And here we are today with the 2016 update, what we fondly call as the sepsis 3.0 which came up with some <music>